Thank you, Commandant. We'll have uh, rounds of seven minutes each and then a second round um, probably afterward. Um, Commandant, have you uh, taken action to separate any officer from the Coast Guard for retaliation against a survivor? We have policies in place that create accountability around retaliation and retribution. Have you actually separated anyone from the Coast Guard? Have you taken action to fire an officer? Uh, I do not have a name in front of me. We will, we, I, I have not done a comprehensive back review of so all the, answer of the personnel is no. actions. The answer is I don't know. You don't know whether you have separated anyone or taken action to separate We, we separate our officers from, from the service for misconduct and for crimes all the time. Specific but I'm talking to about retaliation, retaliation. I don't know. Have you taken action against any member of your leadership for failure to act on a complaint of retaliation? I personally, in my job as commandant, have not been aware, have not been made aware of any officer who was guilty of retaliation, and so therefore I have not taken action. If there is an officer in the system who is found guilty of retaliation, I will ensure we act in accordance with policy and law. That question, I think, is no as well. Let me ask you, with respect to retaliation, what proactive measures are you taking to prevent retaliation? One of the, some of the work that we are doing now as an organization, and when Fouled Anchor came to light last summer, we could have said this was just mishandling of sexual assault from the 80s to 2006 at the Academy. That is not how we've defined the problem. Sexual assault, sexual harassment are crimes. They'll be investigated as crimes and followed through. Retaliation, retribution, hazing, bullying, ostracizing, these are harmful behaviors that are road readiness and that is part of the cultural work that we are embarked on to eliminate those harmful behaviors, create a culture intolerant of retaliation, intolerant of retribution, and where it does occur, ensure that we create but what specific actions are you taking to prevent retaliation? We've, we have begun work across a number of different efforts training at all levels in the organization, update to policy and procedures, clear guidance to my leaders as commanding officers and OICs that retaliation and retribution will not be tolerated in the organization and you must act to create accountability. Are you aware that there are more survivors who leave the Coast Guard than perpetrators? I'm, I'm not sure I understand the question, Senator. I, we, my goal is to create a culture in the organization where everyone is safe and is free from harmful behaviors, and so everyone has the experience that they, they deserve in this incredible organization. And we get that right more often than not. Have you read the letter or statement that Shannon Norenberg submitted to the, this subcommittee? I have not read her statement. I am aware of the reporting of her concerns. I confirmed yesterday that the allegations that Shannon brought forward will be part of the IG investigation. I do want to note, Shannon has been an incredible employee for us. She's made an incredible difference as a sexual uh, assault uh, advisor at the Coast Guard Academy. Uh, we are a smaller organization with her departure, but the allegations she has made will be part of the IG you've, investigation. You've seen public reports. Have you asked to see the document itself? I, I have not. This just came to light yesterday, but I have not seen her statement. Are you aware that as part of that report, she recounted that survivors were denied the opportunity to sign CG 6095. You're aware of that document, are you not? Yeah, I, so I am cooperating with the IG investigation. Well, and I'm with talking regard about what you know. I don't, I, I do not know the specifics of her allegation. This is part of the investigation that will be done by the IG. I'm fully cooperating with the IG. And if there are, if there's evidence of misconduct, we'll work in accordance with law and policy to ensure well, here's accountability. What 
and I apologize for interrupting, but my time is limited, so I'm going to ask you, you know what CG6095 is, right? It enables veterans of the Coast Guard to have access to benefits and care from the VA. When that document is unsigned, they can't access the benefits. If they're denied the opportunity to sign that document, not only are they victims of sexual assault and survivors, but they are prevented from accessing the health care they need to deal with the trauma and other medical problems that may be resulting from it. And I find one of the most damning parts of her letter to be that those survivors evidently were denied that opportunity. What are you going to do to give those veterans the opportunity to access care and benefits? I am committed to cooperating with the IG. We'll continue to work to understand what did or did not happen. And is the IG sent, saying you can't give them the opportunity to sign I, CG it, it is an ongoing investigation, and the IG has said this is a mat. While it is under investigation, I cannot initiate action. As soon as we are able to, I will ensure that any victim who's entitled to veterans' benefits has access to those benefits. This allegation just came forward yesterday, and we were working with the IG to understand uh, what just what happened, what didn't happen, and then we'll work to support victims. My priority is supporting victims. When will the IG investigation be done? Uh, uh, you'll have to ask the IG, sir. I you do don't not know. know. I don't know. I'm cooperating but with the IG. But in the meantime, survivors are denied medical care without any justification. I find that absolutely untenable and intolerable. And I think it will impact morale within the Coast Guard. Wouldn't you agree? I continue to work with the IG, and I'm committed to providing support for victims, and we'll continue to, to work that issue forward. I don't want any victim to not get the support that the, they are the entitled IG to. The IG investigation, I submit respectfully, cannot be used as a shield for inaction. It cannot be used as an excuse for failing to address these ongoing problems. It cannot be used as a reason to refuse disclosure of documents to this subcommittee. And the IG has not asked you to refuse medical care or deny access or refuse documents to this committee, so far as I'm aware. I'm going to turn to the ranking member. We're going to adhere uh, strictly to the seven minutes so that everybody gets a chance, and then we'll come back for another round. Hey, Mr. Chairman. By the way, the uh, 